Hi, I'm Lori Rulin, Adobe Certified Instructor for InDesign and Illustrator. Today I'm going to show you how to make this design where objects will rotate around a common center point. So let's get started. The first thing I need is rulers. If I go to View, down to Rulers, and Show Rulers, the shortcut is Command or Control R. This will show rulers at the top and the left side of my page. To bring down guidelines, I put my mouse right on top of that ruler, click and hold, and drag down to the middle of the page. I'll do the same thing over to the left side and drag a guideline out to the middle of the page so they cross. Now a default with guidelines is that they are not locked automatically. I can still go in and select and move these guides. So I'll need to lock the guide so they don't get selected when I'm trying to rotate my objects. By choosing View, Guides, Lock Guides, now these objects or these guides are not able to be selected. Now I'm ready to make an object. I'll go to the left side to my tools and choose the star tool. By beginning at the middle of the guideline, I'll click and hold and drag, and notice how the star starts from the middle point and goes outward. Now the star is not perfectly straight, so I will want to hold down my shift key to make sure that that star stays perfectly straight up and down before I release my mouse. I've released my mouse, I'll return back to the selection tool and go up to the top left corner here where I find my fill and strokes. By choosing this little drop down and then the color of red, I filled my star with red. Now I'm going to show you a little bit about the rotate tool first of all before I show you the trick. When I select this star and I go to the tools and double click on the rotate tool, double clicking brings up the dialog box for rotate. The problem with this one is if I type in a value say 45 degrees and I hit preview, you'll see that that star rotates around its own center point, not around a point that I can choose. I'll choose cancel. Another way we can use this rotate tool is again choosing the rotate tool and if you choose an area, for example, where these guidelines meet, I can put the point of rotation but I'm not able to type in a value of rotation. I can simply move this star around. The other problem is I'm not able to copy that star. So again, I will undo. Let's go back to the selection tool and now let me show you this trick. First of all, I've got my star selected. Second, I'll choose my rotate tool. Not double click, just choose the rotate tool. By returning back to my document and putting my cursor where the guidelines meet, the trick is to hold down the Option key for Mac or the Alt key for PC while I click the rotate tool where the guides meet. So I'll hold the Option key, notice the little dots that show up next to that icon, and click. The rotate tool shows up and it allows me to type in any value for the rotate. I'll hit preview and notice how the star rotates around this common center point. Now the other problem I have with this rotate value is I'm never sure exactly what value to put in for the angle. So I'm going to cancel and return back to a little demo I have. We all know that there are 360 degrees in a circle. If we want 12 objects around that circle, the value is going to be 30 degrees away from the first one to the second one, and it will make a perfect circle. Same thing if I have 360 degrees and I divide 10 into that, I'll have 10 objects 36 degrees away from each other. Let's return back here to our star. I'll select it with my selection tool and start over again. So I've selected my star, I go to my rotate tool, I hold down my alt or option key and click where the guides meet. And now I can type in the value for my rotate angle. Neat little trick here is that I don't have to pull out my calculator, I can just type in 360, hit the slash key and type in the number of objects I want. Let's say I want 12 objects. By clicking the preview check mark on and off, it will do the calculation for me, showing me that it's 30 degrees. Make sure you don't hit OK because that won't make a duplicate. I'll move over here to copy and I've made my first star. Now instead of needing to do that again every time I want a new star, I'll choose Object Menu, Transform, Transform again, noticing that the shortcut is Command D or Control D for PCs. I'll release on Transform again and I'll do the shortcut next time, Command D, all the way around that circle. Let's try this again. This time I want to have a triangle. I'll choose the Polygon tool, click and hold and drag. You'll notice that the default here is a six-sided object 
If I click and hold and drag and hit the down arrow key as I'm holding my mouse down, I can change the number of sides on the polygon that I'm drawing. Again, I'll hold my shift key down to make sure that that is a perfectly straight triangle, and I'll size it the way I'd like. I'll choose a different color for the fill and return back to the selection tool. My triangle is selected, go to my rotate tool, hold down my option key, and click where the guides meet. Now this time I want to have double the amount of triangles that I do stars. So again, I'll do 360 divided by, now last time I typed in 12, so I'll type in 24 this time. And I'll hit preview, and you'll notice how it goes half the distance. I'll choose copy, and again the shortcut of command D. And I'll rotate that triangle all the way around that circle. So continue with making an object in the 12 o'clock position, straight up and down, selecting that rotate tool, holding the option key when you click where the guides meet, and type in any number that is divisible by 360, and you can continue and make a design much like this one. Have fun!